Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and today I would like to share with you one way to develop Power BI reports. I'm going to talk about how to share PBIX files, work together as a developer team, and of course, creating developer, test, and production version of the same report. Before we begin, you probably already heard about Power BI Premium or Premium Per User Licenses. With those higher tier licenses, you have a really good option to manage the whole development cycle within the service. However, let's be real here for a moment. Those are quite expensive. Not everyone can afford to pay that much and may not be able to fully utilize all the cool features that comes with them. So how can we achieve something similar without breaking the bank? If you stay till the end, I show you one more trick to further streamline your report development process. Let's dig into this. I'm going to quickly show you what is a deployment pipeline. I have a PPU license under my account. If we click on create a pipeline, call it testing. We will be presented a screen where we can assign workspaces to each stages of the development process. But as I said, to get this, you have to have a very expensive premium capacity or PPU, which is going to cost more than Power BI Pro license. So the question is, how do we create a safe and reliable development environment for report creators and testers, and finally a stable live report for report users? Easy. We try to replicate this deployment pipeline, but on a local shared drive where all developers have access to the PBIX file. As you can see here, in this report folder, I have three PBIX files with different names, but the underlying data is the same for all. Let's open all of them and check what's going on in each and every report. Here we have the data set, as you can see on the right hand side and under the model view, a beautiful star schema. When it comes to the report pages, we don't really have too many. There are some data validation, calculation, and measures. We can use the dev version of the report to build our model, work with measures, and just in general, manage the development process. When we move over to our test version, we can see report pages with all the bells and whistles. It is going to look exactly the same as our final report, but this is the file where we can make adjustments and ask our users to test those changes. Hopefully these are enhancements. And finally, the live report. During development and testing, we do not need to touch the live report file. We just keep it as it is. Reason behind that is if something goes pear shaped, we can always restore the test version from the live version. However, when we are done with testing and we are happy with all the changes, we can save the test version as live and then publish the live version to our report users. This looks good, isn't it? With this method, you can save a lot of money and still work on the same report as a team with multiple report developers. You can share the test version with some users and of course, at the end, share the final result, your beautiful, reliable, and approved report with your report users. Please note that even though it is a good option to manage the full development cycle, there are some limitations with this setup. The most important one I have to flag is that if you change anything in your model, you have to apply those changes in three files. Another limitation, something that can be easily managed, is that users can delete files on the shared drive. A quick solution is to backup files either by IT or just link a folder to OneDrive or any other cloud services. At the end of the day, you have to ask from yourself if Power BI Premium worth the extra cost. Of course, it brings other great features as well, but costs an arm and leg. As I said before, there is one more thing to add here. Another best practice to overcome the limitations of changing the data model in three places. We can move or publish the model up to the service. This way, everyone can connect to the data set and we only have to manage a single data model. 
What does it mean? Let's go back to my machine. This time around, we have four files in the folder. Three of them are the same as before, dev, test, and live. But we also have one file dedicated to our data model. Let's open it. As you can see here, we have nothing on the report page, as we are not going to use this file as a report. We just publish the model to the service and let others connect to it. This way, we only have to manage a single data model and all other reports are going to pick up the changes immediately. In addition to this, your model can work as an underlying data source for any other reports as well. This is what I call streamlining processes. Once we publish the data set, we just need to delete the report and use the data set as our source when it comes to Power BI files. Would you like to hear another great thing about this? You can even use this method after you publish your report. Let me show you how to quickly and neatly replace datasets in Power BI Desktop. Here we are in our test version. First of all, we need to delete every single table. With this move, we are going to break the report, but don't be afraid, we can fix it immediately. We head over to Get Data, Power BI Datasets, and we just select the one that we posted a couple of minutes ago. Wow, it works! It works just fine! What do you think about this method? Have you been using something similar? Are you going to replicate this with your reports? Or do you stay with premium or premium per user licenses? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you learned something new and you will be able to use it within your organization. Like this video so I know that you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned for more. See ya!